Well, there's a number of reasons for something like that. A lot of them, if not all, are politically motivated because We live in a world that's populated by people other than ourselves. So even if we have the greatest and best of intentions, we cannot always see our plans through as intended. The tactics used in this warfare of sorts, a manifold, to hose irritants at people in large amounts, ranging from such things as itching powder, small insects that themselves replicate. algae, molds, spores, or a combination thereof, all the way to the engineered variety to achieve a result, all the way to such things as surgical bugs that enter your flesh and do their thing there. Well. Of course, those with more money, more power, more influence will be able to do more in that area. And economics, of course, are used again to work against people to achieve a result. As you can see, yes, my neck has healed from the accident that occurred when I was attempting to save my life as well as Timothy's. And when I got a big load of these irritants on my neck all at once, and Thereafter, as I was laying there exhausted, um, trying to recover from my injuries, um, the part of this mix that was in fact a form of algae proceeded to grow into my neck. After two days or so, a thick layer had formed on my neck that was dark and discolored and made me look like the Night of the Living Dead. After the skin underneath had regrown, I proceeded to scrape off and wash off carefully the outermost skin layer, uh, not skin layer, <laughs> encrusted contaminant layer. That's how I contracted these injuries. It hurt terribly. It looks like a second degree burn. It wasn't in fact fire that caused it. It still made me suffer terribly. My 50th birthday was spent that way. Timothy, being a guy, has um, more hair follicles on his body. So these things, whatever they are, tend to go into his system at a much larger rate. Anyhow, we're both doing somewhat better as compared to the situation at our previous residence. However, as I'm speaking. The irritants are building up again in the room, settling down on my skin and everywhere else. 
and I wish this whole thing would just stop now. The room here where we're staying has been paid for. I'm not a working class hero or political activist. I just want my life back, my peace of mind back. I'm trying to be a diplomat of sorts to work it out between us and the people that surround us and to get the people that have their differences in opinion about certain matters of health environment, politics, to work it out between them as well and let us live our life and hopefully enjoy some of it. Of course, I'm going to get all sorts of comments going to be ridiculed, attacked, but as the housing court lawyer Stephen DiCastro said, whenever you happen to have a really good defense, people are always going to call you crazy. Signing off. This is Petra. I hope your day is more pleasant than mine. It's a Saturday afternoon, November 1st, 2014, in the north.